doing is so great and original. Like I've never heard of the chess before. So. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Tea. Yeah. I love it. So you got all your, your merch on. Yes, I love it. Always, always represent. Nice. Always represent. I mean, well, chess lounges, they exist already. They just don't exist in this form. Okay. They, they have, like, um, a traditionalism that I want to just, like, move away from. Because, like, growing up in New York City, uh, growing up in an urban environment, the chess players that I'm familiar with, they dress like this. You know, they dress okay. with sneakers, jeans, Tims, hoodies, and stuff like that. But they're all social people thinkers. They're also intense thinkers. You know, they, they take the game very serious. Sometimes they play in parks, Washington Square Park. So, they, you know, it's just a get-together. But it's um it's a community thing. Okay. It's something that um I grew up playing with my father and my brother. My father taught me at the age nine. Wow. So I was able to, you know, play in the house and you know, obviously my father was stiff competition, but that was great. That was something to look forward to. And then I was able to go into school and then they had like chess programs there. So I played in school and played in high school, but it's something that always stuck with me. It was really just about like the principles okay. that really stuck with me. Like the game is one thing. But what you learn from playing the game is everything. Who you become, you know. I like to see like you know this brand exists on the intersection of like chess and fashion. Okay. You know, like seemingly people think those worlds don't exist together, but I do. I like to put things together, almost like hip hop, like okay. remixing, repurposing, uh, you know, old records. I'm repurposing this idea of chess and these principles and making it refreshing, you know, giving it a new twist. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, okay, come on, let's go inside and let's take a look. So it was important for us to like, you know, capture the idea of what's going on here. So as soon as you walk in, I want you to understand that this is what's, the, the motif is what's happening here. You see all the, the chess pictures, all the pictures of the different pieces of the knight, the bishop, the queen. So it gives you the idea of what's here. But you're also met with like fashion. So it's almost like when people walk by, they're like, well, what is this? Yeah. You know, what is it? Is it, you know... Um, is it a place you play chess or a place you play, you know, you pick up clothes? And I just say yes, you know, because it's just both, you know. Um, so, like, we have uh, this uh, hats here, you know, like, we do snapbacks. Okay. You know, with the embroidery, the 3D embroidery. Now, oh, who designed this logo? Because I love it. Very classic. So, I designed the logo. Oh, you did? Um, okay. I'm not, like, a graphic designer by trade. Mm -hmm. But I did learn graphic design when I was in high school, like, doing photography. Like, okay. I did digital photography. So, I learned, like, small principles from, like, Photoshop and stuff like that. And just, like, over my journey, I just, you know, was always, like, playing with those different things. But, um... I use like pictures and images and then okay. I just like if I need a graphic designer to come in I'll explain it to them you know in detail what I'm trying to get to and then they'll help me get to the, the detail of what I want to get to but okay. I started the whole idea behind Art of Man mm -hmm. like, you know a lot of people ask me the question Art of Man where does the name yeah. come from the idea is um, we all come into the world empty okay. we get molded and shaped by our experiences by our family, you know, by the books we read, our education. So in essence, we're sculptures, oh, we're pieces yeah. of art. So we have art of man nice. and art of woman. I and love then, it. Thank you. And then you see like the logo here. Okay. It's like the king silhouetted with the palm. Oh. So it's, it's really like a, an affirmation to like, you could either, you have two choices in life. You can either be the king of your own castle mm -hmm. or the palm of someone else's. So it's like you choose, right. you know, in life we all have to make that choice, like what do we want to be? Do we want to be the masters of our destiny mm -hmm. or, you know, or do we want to be utilized? Do we want to, you know, be the front line of defense that, you know, just gets thrown to the side, you know, not as important. So you have the choice to be the king. Nice. I love it. I love the whole philosophy with it. And I was reading this t-shirt. Yes. So talk to us about what, how you came up with this, what it really means to you. Uh, I really just wanted the affirmation for men. Um, it just kind of like um, talking about my tribe, the tribal people who I want to exist, who I want to wear this clothing. You know, it's just like all those words exemplify that. You know, I'm a member of an elite group of distinguished, intelligent, respectful, confident, and benevolent men who identify as kings. Nice. The most important part is identifying as a king. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's that's where it starts. It's, it starts here. Like, how do you see yourself? If you see yourself as a king. You'll treat yourself as a king. You'll start doing those things that um, kings would do. You yeah. know, exercising your mind, exercising your body. 
worrying about what you put in your body, mm -hmm. treating the people around you right. You know, that word benevolent is important because it's about, about treating people with kindness, right, you right. know. Um, but yeah, so it's just really about identifying the group of people who I feel would, you know, enjoy something like this. I love it. I love it. And I feel like anybody, when you come in here, it's just because it's the way you decorate and everything, it makes yeah. you feel like, okay, I'm in the little parts of the place. Yeah. You know, it's, it's great. It's great. So, um, now over here, I see you got, you have this... The chess tables. I, I don't know if I'm saying it the right way. Yeah, well, this is the chess lounge area. Okay. You know, this is where you come and you can play. You can catch a game. We have people here throughout the week. You know, um, the one thing about chess is like, you know, obviously I play with my father and my brother a lot. But you meet people. You meet new people. And, you know, um, you learn something from every game that you play. So, you know, meeting new people and seeing how they play the game. Because there's so many variations to the game. It has 64 squares. So many things could happen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the game, you're playing your game and you're also anticipating all at the same time. And so it's just like, you know, with that, the reason why I started the brand is because life is just like that, you know. Yeah. You're playing your game and you're anticipating the things that are going on around you. You know, so it's just it's about having that, the chess consciousness that mm -hmm. we all can have, I believe just makes everybody better. And, yeah. you know, starting at a young age is right. good, you know. So I just wanted to bring that to the community. I love it. I love what you bring into the community. Thank so you. say for someone like me, like I don't yeah. know how to play chess at all. I don't know anything about it. So like if I came in, would I be able to learn here? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So our lessons in store are starting in February. So we're going to teach from ages six and up. Wow. Uh, we want to start young, as young as, you know, we feel like they can really grasp something from the game. Yeah. And we see, like, a lot of older people, like people like yourself, like, mm -hmm. you know, you're grown and you just haven't had a chance to yeah. learn the game. Right. So we want to create an environment for you to feel comfortable to come and learn the game. But it's not just about learning the game. It's about, okay, I take these principles. How can I apply that in life? How can I utilize that for myself? Because, like, you know, it's meaningless if it's just a game, if it's just a yeah. challenge, if it's just about becoming something, a grandmaster or master, it's about, you know, mastering you. Okay. You know, how can this make me better? So it's like just these principles that chess teaches us. Patience, okay. um, strategic thinking, you know, operating three to five moves ahead. And mm -hmm. the number one thing is like the goal in chess is to get to your checkmate. Right. Your checkmate is everything. And so you have a goal in life, that's your checkmate. Okay. Whether it's to, you know, graduate from college, mm -hmm. whether it is to uh, to buy a home, you know, buy a car, all of those have steps to get there. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to buy a car, you have to get your credit together, mm -hmm. you have to financially be together. So you plan out those steps strategically to get to your checkmate, your car. So the principles on the board, you can apply them in life. Nice. I, I love the whole mindset behind everything. And I see you have this on the wall, this projection here. What is this all about? Yeah, so I mean, we like to project like um, movies that have the foundation of chess in there, or strategic okay. thinking, or just like chess tutorials we have it going nice. on throughout the week. So people, you know, while they're here, they can come and just like pick up, you know, some simple um, chess concepts and different openings and stuff like that. So it's just like really in the world of, of chess, all at the same time being in the world of fashion, balancing yeah. those things at the same time. Yeah. I love it. I love how, how you bring you. bring all the two worlds yeah. together. It's yeah. so cool. I love it. And so now all, all, over here you've got, you got some chess. you got these books. Yes. These are all books on chess? No, so this is the only book that's on chess right here. Bobby okay. Fisher teaches chess. These are about my, these are mindset books. Think You Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. As a Man Think of James Allen. The Game of Life. Okay. You know, so it's important that, like, you know, I want people that come in here, I want them to leave better. You know, okay. like, you know, how many times do you actually get a, um, a shopping experience in which you, like, learn something or you pick up something? Yeah. You know, I think fashion can be more than just garments on your body, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? There's, there's something that, because you're, 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 in essence, when you're wearing clothing, you're saying something about yourself. Right. So why don't you say something that's positive, you know? Mm -hmm. You can you speak louder. Like, you know, if I walk past you, you know, you can get an idea of what I'm about just by what I have on. True. And so... When I'm wearing on a man, I'm letting you know what I'm about. Yeah. Especially if I have on, you know, the benevolent man shirt. I'm an elite man, you know. Yeah. Distinguish, benevolent, and mm -hmm. I identify as a king. You know what I mean? So it's just about like having mindset books, 
addition into my set. This is just like a, a cool game that um, I think okay. people can pick up. Um, no it, stress chess. Yeah, it allows you to um, to learn chess in a different way from the traditional way. It okay. kind of makes it into a card game. So it's kind of like, oh, this is okay. like a, um, a cool tool I think people can, um, you know, jump into the game without yeah. Feeling, you know, the traditional way can be a little bit different. It takes a little bit of time. Yeah, it can to be get intimidating. Into, it can be intimidating. When I think of chess, I think, oh, that's yeah. really hard, and you got to yeah. be really, you know, really yeah. into it. Or, yeah. I don't know. I never really got into it. I've always been curious yeah. about it, you know. Yeah. And and I said you, I know you mentioned before, like in the neighborhood, you would see guys outside playing. I used to yeah. see that. Like in Boston, I used to see that downtown, you know, Absolutely. I used to see that, and I, I thought it was really cool. Absolutely. So hopefully this will bring that back. Yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, in part, like, I want to make chess cool again. Yeah. I want to make thinking cool again. You know, I, yeah. I want to make reading cool again. Mm -hmm. All of those things. And so it's like, you know, what better way to pull people in but, you know, streetwear and fashion and, and things like that. Just so, you know, these are both things that are important to me. You know, like, I love chess mm -hmm. and I love fashion. So I just yeah. like, want to bring those worlds together. True. I love it. So how long have you actually been here? How long has your boutique been in the world? So we've been open... Um, just under three months. Wow. So um, we, we had the opportunity to come in here, but prior to that, I had um, a cart in the mall. Oh, you did? Yes, okay. I had a cart in the mall. So I originally started the business online. It was just oh, online. Okay. I started during the pandemic, October 1st of 2020. That's my birthday. Oh, I decided, thank, you. thank you. I just decided to launch the brand on my birthday. It was something that was in my mind. I said, you know what? This is going to be my gift. So mm -hmm. I launched my company. That would be my gift to myself. And then about six months later, um, we opened up a car and we were there for about six, seven months. Uh -huh. And then after that, we um, ended up moving here. Good for you. This, this is great. So, how, so, what advice would you give to anybody that is thinking about opening up their own business? You know, it might be a little you know, yeah. difficult. Um, plan it out. Okay. Because originally, like, the idea for this business started with the store. Mm -hmm. But it couldn't start with the store. I had to start where I was, okay. which was starting online. I only started with two designs. I had really? two designs. Um, I'll show you the, the one simple. I had it for men and I had it for mm -hmm. women okay. in two different colors. And that's what I sold from the beginning. Nice. And then I was able to move and add more to it mm -hmm. and then open up the cart. So you start small. You can have the big vision in mind, have the big vision. Mm -hmm. But there are steps to get to that big vision. And for me, those right. steps were to launch online, prove my concept, knowing that there is a customer that was interested in what I was selling, okay. and then moving into the mall, which mm -hmm. was nice because I was now able to see my customer and oh, have true. conversations true. with them. And now those conversations turned into me understanding the business even more. I understood what my customer was looking for, mm -hmm. and so I was able to make more of that. And then that was the building block, and that was the relationship that I had with the mall. So, you okay. know, so sometimes those steps become relationships. I had a relationship with the um, leasing department, and that nice. allowed me to be able to get into this this store. Okay, know. yeah, I think it's I think it's great that you're out there. I, I just love yeah. everything about it. So now I just gotta ask you this too. Yeah. Do you think how have things been for you during the pandemic? Has it made it difficult or anything? Um, it's different. It's mm -hmm. different because being in the mall, I mean, the the traffic is not the same as it was pre-pandemic. Right. But um, I believe in storefronts, I believe mm -hmm. in malls, I yeah. believe in those ideas, so I'm willing to invest in that. Right. You know, um, I believe that I'm able to create an experience that I couldn't do online. Okay. So it was important Definitely. for me to create this space, you know. Mm -hmm. I couldn't explain to people, you know, how chess and fashion yeah. work together as much as I can here right now, you know, having the chess lounge area. So this is really an investment for these ideas, you know, because um, that's where it all starts. It started yeah. with the ideas and these principles that were rolling around in my mind, and this is the manifestation of it. I love it. I mean, everything starts with your mind. I think yeah. I think everything starts with believing, because, yes. you know, if you, if you believe you can do it, you can do it. And look at this. That's right. You're, you're doing that's it. That's right. So this is like my, my favorite new piece. Like it. all of the pieces are my favorite. Is this brand new? This is this is new. We just saw like got this a couple of like a couple of days ago. Oh wow. But um the artist who did this, I gave him my logo. I saw him, he did some other art for other people, and I just was looking on his Instagram. It was just like super dope, and I just yeah. love the way he put things together. And I gave him my logo and I actually I just gave him leeway, just go crazy. 
and like what came out was just beautiful. It's like, you know, there's so much intricacy mm -hmm. into this artist. You can see like the king and queen oh, I didn't is more into it. So he okay. used my, you know, the pawn is still silhouetted inside the king, but then you have like the silhouette of a woman dropping down. So it's like, it's so much, okay, I didn't you see even crowns catch that. here, yep. See, I didn't catch all of that now. There's so many things I in love this. It. So it's like, you know, so this hoodie has got the art of man and it has one of our mantras, advance to your destiny, going down the arm with the art of man on the front. Cause it's like so much going on the back, we just simplified the front. Yeah. Wow, I love it. Yeah, this is like. It's beautiful. And then, yeah. and then you also have it in black. It's yep. beautiful. It's dope. dope. And we also like, you know, um, it's the brand is art of man, but we carry mm -hmm. stuff for women also. Okay. You know, man is, this is unisex. Yeah. Cause yeah. man was really um, intended to be for human. But I know some people okay. still want something to, to connect with for yeah. themselves. So like, we have stuff for queens over here. Okay. So let's the pawn. Same idea, but just you know, give us some love. Our woman. For the ladies. Okay. Yes, yes. I love it. Beanies and everything. So, so your father. So you mm -hmm. know, how do you think chess has helped you? Has helped you be a better father? Do you think? Um. Yeah, I mean because um. I understood now. Now I'm a father. I'm a father of four. Wow. I'm a 13 year old down to a three year old son. So I'm a 13 year old daughter. Going to be seven year old daughter, a uh, four year old daughter, and a three year old son. And the things that I remember, my father has passed now, but the things that I remember with my father was those times that we spent together. And part of it was spending, you know, learning the game or being on the board, you know. Okay. That, that, um, that connection, that time, that passing down of information is very important, exactly. you know. And that's kind of what I want to bring to the community because. There are some people who don't have fathers, you know, right, right. and so I don't want them to lose those those connecting things, those mm -hmm. things that they can learn that I was able to learn from my father. You know, I was blessed to have him, yeah. the time that I have him, you know, but some people aren't in that position. So if I can bring those principles to them, you know, that's just great. That's great. That's beautiful. So, I mean, I just feel like I think I love what you're doing here. I'm so glad to see you out here in, in the Bantu Mountain. My brother have a really beautiful yeah. business in the mall, so positive and it's encouraging yeah. to other people. Yeah. So I would say everybody, come on down, support this brother Justin Tuggle. Thank you. Out here in the Brain Tree Mall, Thank you. Art of Man Boutique, come on down, learn some chess. I'm gonna have to come down here and learn some chess. Yeah. Bring my son down here, he's 16, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, just come right in. I, I, I just think it's great, it's very welcome. Yeah, the doors are always open. Nice, yeah. beautiful. Thank you so much Justin yes. for coming on Trill TV. Yeah. Everybody gets support this man. And let everybody know again where they can find you online as well. All right, so Instagram, we're Art Man Boutique. On Facebook, we're Art Man Experience. Um, I'm no Justin, no peace on um, on Instagram. But um, if you're looking for the store, we're in um, Braintree Mall, South Shore Plaza. We're on the first floor. Like if you can come into, if you can get to um, Cheesecake Factory, you walk right down the hall. You can get to us. Uh, we're right across from Red Robins and Captain Louis. You know. Feel free to come in and catch a game. If you just want to, you know, come in and just say hello, you know, say hi, just stop by, it's some good energy. That's welcome also. Great. So everybody, please support Art of Man Boutique and please support Trill TV. You know where to find me, have a